Over in St. Paul, a legislature in chaos shortly before midnight, a last minute push to get nine bills across the finish stirred up disarray in the Minnesota Capitol. The body was required to adjourn at midnight and KEYC's Quinn Gorham was there as things fell apart at the end. Fallout from days of pent up tension manifesting the final minutes of the 2024 legislative session. <laughs> The lead up began at around 10 p.m. as lawmakers met to put one last conference committee report together to send to the floor. That committee report contained nine separate bills all wrapped in to one. The bill that we passed off last uh, from the floor contained some of our highest priorities of the session. But the approach was immediately called into question by Republicans. In total, the bill was 2,800 pages long, and since it hit the floor with under an hour remaining, the House deployed what Speaker Melissa Hortman called, quote, extraordinary measures. When they spoke for hours and hours on things and, and told stories about their families, didn't talk about the bills at all, it was a deliberate effort to block progress, and we had to uh, take extraordinary measures, which are authorized by the rules. DFLers say Republicans were being obstructionists with continued filibustering of bills and dilatory motions. That's why they say they deployed what was clearly a nuclear option. But to Republicans, the deployment of those tactics was complete disregard of the minority's voice. And we were not in any way delaying that, but we were having full and thorough debates that need to happen when you're going to pass legislation in the state of Minnesota. According to GOP leadership, the minority was completely disregarded. Minority leaders from both chambers argued that the number of pages in the final bill set an unrealistic expectation on the bodies. We were completely steamrolled by the Democrat majority. Our voices were not heard, shutting out the voices of Minnesota. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Now, several bills did not meet the deadline. Notably, no bonding bill was passed, and the Equal Rights Amendment did not get through the Minnesota Senate. A sports betting deal also died in the final hours of the legislative session.